Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to DS Asylum. I'm Ward Dimitri Strine and I've got my good shirt out. Alright, he he here's a challenge for you guys, alright? He here's a challenge. You see the shirt? You see the shirt? Alright. I want you to name as many cartoons off this shirt as you can. Hold up, there's, there's more on the back. Hold up. Alright, there's more on the back. I'm gonna jump. Uh. <laughs> I want you to name as many as you can that are on this shirt. Uh, the person who guesses the most correctly gets a shout out in my next, uh, well not the next video, but whenever I count all of that crap. Anyway, q and <laughs> I messed up the camera. Anyway, Q&A time. So, I asked you guys in the last video to give me questions and we're going to answer some of them. Now, I tend to take forever to answer questions, so I don't know if I'll get to all of them in this video. If I don't get to your question, uh, I'll probably do a part two because, again, I uh, I, ta I take forever. <laughs> I legitimately take forever to answer questions. So, we're going to start off with some interesting ones. I've got the questions right here, uh, right below the camera here. So, um, what are other games you play for uh, when you're off camera? And the thing is, I don't really play any games off camera. Not anymore. I used to. I used to play a lot uh, off camera, but I just... I don't have time to play off camera anymore because off you wanna know what I'm doing off camera? I'm still playing Legends. Off camera, I'm grinding PvP. Off camera, I'm grinding equipment. Off camera, I'm grinding events. Like, Dragon Ball Legends takes up so much of my time that I don't really, I can't play anything else. And when I am playing something else, it's always in a live stream on camera. Uh, I used to play some stuff, but I just, I. Especially when I started doing the, the uh, PvP grinds, I just found that I don't have enough time to play games anymore, so. Dragon Ball Legends, that, that's, that's what I play uh, off camera, unfortunately. All right, what made you want to become a YouTuber? I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this channel exists because I wanted a way to archive the things I did with my friends. If you go back to like the Xenoverse 2 days of this channel, you'll notice that there's just a bunch of like 30 to 50 minute long videos, almost completely unedited, where me and my friends are just screwing around in Xenoverse. And that was what the channel was really about uh, at first. The channel was just for me and my friends, really. Uh, I never uploaded a video expecting anyone but me to watch it, like genuinely. I, it wasn't until I started making Legends content that I was actually like making videos for other people. Uh, I still, I, I had like some small series for Xenoverse 2, like there were viewers of the channel, so I did make videos for other people, like the character tests. But as a whole, the channel was mainly just designed for me to archive the good times I have with my friends. Unfortunately, I don't have those friends anymore. <laughs> I mean, they exist, I'm not on bad terms with anyone, but I just don't speak to anyone anymore. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why Legends had to be uh, had to be done in the first place. I needed something to upload. But yeah, literally the the inspiration to becoming a YouTuber was just I I, I liked watching back the things that me and my friends did. My whole rule with uploading videos in general is if I wouldn't watch my own video, I wouldn't upload it. I, I will never upload a video on this YouTube channel that I would not watch in my spare time. Because if I wouldn't watch it, why would I expect you to watch it? And that's kind of the mentality I had back then. So yeah, becoming a YouTuber was nothing more than just, I like, you know, playing with my friends. Why is school so hard? Because the American education system couldn't be more flawed if they intended it to be that way. So I had stuff like this come up a couple times, talking about, you know, why don't I do Pokemon stuff? I do. I live streamed. I, there are two Pokemon Fire Red Omega live streams on the channel right now, and I intend on going back to the Pokemon live streams. You gotta start watching the live streams. You gotta come in when your boy's live. You gotta watch the other content. I'm telling you, I have already done Pokemon content and am continuing to do it. You gotta, you gotta stay up to date on what's going on. Come on, guys. You gotta be there when I live stream. 
Oh, and to answer the question about Pokemon Nuzlocks, I just don't find Nuzlocking appealing. Uh, I, I catch Pokemon for the intent on using those Pokemon, and if they faint, I can't use them anymore, which for me defeats the purpose of ever catching them in the first place. I don't find Nuzlocks to be challenging, I just find them to be a different way of playing the game that I just simply don't really enjoy. I've attempted one in the past, and I was wasn't that fun for me. What do you do when you don't feel like making a video? I make one anyway, because I owe it to not just myself, but you guys to upload uh, content every single day. Now, usually if I don't feel like making a video, um, I'll do something that's very simple, or I will just live stream. I will always do something. Like, there are times where I've, I've been like, oh, I don't have a video for today, uh, and I just live stream instead. But that's usually when I forget to make a video, not when I don't want to. But if there's ever a time where I genuinely don't want to make a video, I will just make one anyway. I'll suck it up and make it anyway because I'm, I'm trying to do this. Like at this point, now that the channel's monetized and your boy can make money, I mean, at the end of the day, I would not mind if this became a job. You can't just not feel like going to work, now can you? I mean, you could call out sick, but you can only do that but so many times before you get fired. And the same same rules apply for YouTube. You can only disappear but so many times before people just stop caring. So, when you don't feel like making a video, you kind of just have to suck it up and make one anyway. Will you try to make Dokkan content? So, I've made a Dokkan summon video during the five year anniversary on Global. The problem with making Dokkan content and Legends content is Everything is done off of the phone that I'm recording this off of right now. Everything. Uh, the recordings are done, the editing is done, the uploading, all of it is off this phone. The problem with Dokkan is it takes up about 914 terabytes of space, and I, I don't have the space on my phone to make to even have Dokkan downloaded while also making Legends content let alone making Legends and Dokkan content. I would love to make content on Dokkan, but I don't have the space for it. I don't. Dokkan and Legends are just too big. Their, their, files, their file sizes are just too big. I can't. I don't have the space on my phone for it. I would love to. I would love to do Dokkan content. Maybe I'd be angry less, but I, I can't. I, can't, I don't even have the game downloaded right now because I, I literally can't. I wouldn't have enough space to upload videos. How much can you bench? 180, 200, round, round that. Uh, last time I like really tried to bench press was in high school and I was able to bench 180 then. So I've not, you know, just stopped working out at all since then. So I, I'd like to think I could probably bench around the 200 mark. Uh, I know, right? Look at me. I don't look like I could bench 200, but I, I definitely can. <laughs> My favorite unit in Dragon Ball Legends is probably, even though I don't use the team anymore, it's probably still the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Gogo because he's just come in clutch for me so many times. The, un the, the only units that I've ever considered to be my favorite units have been Kakunsa, LF Super Saiyan 3, and the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Though those are those are like my favorite units. Though right now, in terms of units I actually use, it would be 18. But in, in if we're talking about the entire game's existence, probably that Goku. Do you like any other animes? Of course I do. But if I went over every anime I've watched and enjoyed, we'd be here for hours. <laughs> so Maybe we'll save that for another time. My favorite character in all of Dragon Ball is Goku Black slash Zamasu, and the reason for that is I think they're probably the most well-written characters in the entire franchise because throughout the Goku Black arc, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks do nothing but prove Zamasu right. So it's interesting to have a villain whose motives are completely justified, but whose actions are not, it's not the motives that make him a villain because again, he's right. It's his actions that make him a villain. And that's what I really like about Goku Black and Zamasu. Um, like Frieza's cool and all, but at the end of the day, he's just a gen he's nothing more than a genocidal maniac. Like he has no purpose outside of kill. Um, Zamasu was 
corrupted, in a word. His heart wasn't in the right place, but he felt like what he was doing was the right thing to do for the gods. And again, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks do nothing throughout that arc except prove him right. So that that's why Goku Black and Zamasu are my favorites. Between the two, Goku Black because Rose is pretty cool. So there's a question here about getting rid of the star system in Dragon Ball Legends and try and make the game more skill-based. The problem with that is they gotta make their money, right? They do definitely have to make their money. Um, but I think lowering the stars would, uh, would help. The game is not, like the game is supposed to be competitive, but because of this, this uh, star system, rising rush, paralysis, stuff like that, it's impossible to actually be competitive when those things exist. The game is not very skill-based at all. It can't, it's literally luck of the draw. Are your units a higher star? All right, you have an advantage. Does your rising rush get gassed? No, you have an advantage. Do you get lucky with paralysis? Yes, you have an advantage. So, and same with faint as well. So it's very hard for Dragon Ball Legends to be competitive with the things it has implemented. But um, the star system doesn't need to be removed. I just think if they lowered it, it would be a lot better. Like, keep it at seven stars, but don't make it like the old seven star system. Keep it like it currently is. Keep the amount of Z power you need to get the seven stars the same as it is now, but make seven the last one. <laughs> I mean, it, it's already hard enough to pull a unit once. You need to pull a unit like five times to get them the seven stars. So, I mean, what, at the end of the day, Sure, you might be losing out on a bit of money, but I think making your player base happy should be more important than making a couple extra bucks. What games do you like to play and on what consoles? Um, I used to be a rather competitive Dragon Ball Fighters player. I uh, would go to a few local tournaments back in the day, and uh, I was fairly decent at the game. Uh, I play on a PS4, and if anyone's wondering, yes, I do have a very cheap uh, fight stick, Quamba Drone. It's cheap, but it gets the job done. So I was very much all in on Dragon Ball Fighters, and I just don't play the game anymore because one, it's very slow at this point. Nothing really happens in the game anymore. And two, Dragon Ball Legends eats up all of my time. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, if I didn't answer your question, I apologize. Perhaps there will be a second part to this at some point. But um, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you uh, try and count how many cartoons are on the shirt over here. And uh, like I said, you'll get a shout out in a future video if you can manage to get a, uh, the most amount right. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, outros, I forgot my own outro. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure, if you can, hit that join button because now that I can actually get paid on YouTube, I am going to probably start pushing those memberships a bit. So, yeah, join. It really does help. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I will see all of you, in, you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.